Hi, my name is Shahid Bashir. In this video, I will be discussing about how to calculate an appropriate sample size for a particular study. So, uh, this continuing with our um, our exemplary study. So, here we are. The working population was asked to respond to the online survey. So, altogether, the researcher achieved 206 responses. Now, the question is whether these 206 responses will be enough to conduct this study. So, because if uh, the number is lowest or highest, you cannot justify your point of study. So, okay, out of uh, this, okay, uh, okay, the valid sample size was 400 now for the rest of the section we need to prove that 400 sample size is enough to conduct this study so for this uh, okay just see this paragraph the chosen sample size was appropriate for this study based on following reasons First, a sample size of 200 to 500% is recommended to be sufficient for survey-based research if the total sampling units are large in numbers. Okay, uh, an academic justification then. Second, past, past studies in similar context were found to use nearly the same sample size. For example, these, these, these studies, okay. Last, the researcher, the researcher also used sample size calculation, calculation equation by Smith 2013 and found that more than 385 respondents would be enough for this study. So, this equation is specifically for the subject areas in which the population size is either large or unknown. Okay, this is the equation okay these are the principles of equations and based on this equation it is proven that minimum expected sample size for the present study is good enough as per the smith method so we have enough justification now to prove that whatever the sample size we are using is good enough to conduct this study